Hello, my fellow YouTubers, and welcome to Random Thoughts from me, O Ted Bear. Today on Great Mysteries of Life Explained, at least in theory, I would like to share the story of the oldest conflict in human history. No, not the Christians versus the Muslims. The Battle of the Sexes. Now, short of a time machine, my walking around the apartment talking to myself because there's nobody else there, <laughs> uh, and my inability to, to let a question go, at least on a subconscious level, has brought me to a quite plausible answer for the how and why the greatest war in humanity began. And even though it was called the Battle of the Sexes, we are not talking, it's way too primal, for the for it to be the 1973 Billie Jean King Bobby Riggs tennis game. And, alright, since I actually have been asked this several times and recently, no, I have not been smoking weed. This is just how my mind works. Now, no matter how you believe we got here, whether you go with evolution or creationism, our story begins right at the point where we start the full-time job of just staying alive. Now, either from the evolutionary point, or from the point where God looks at Adam and Eve and says, Get out of here! Now, every hour of every day was consumed with keeping food on the table and not being food for others. It was a dark and really scary time, but it got better. We silly little humans learned ways of making hunting, and hunting, gathering, protecting, nurturing, and keeping the family unit healthy, easier, and more efficient. And as with most advancements would throughout the coming coming ages, the early humans found themselves with a new concept. Extra time and how to fill it. Now, that's the point. That's the point right where I be believe the is the only logical point where the Battle of the Sexes could have started. Now, not blaming anybody, the female whose duties in the family unit revolved around nurturing and the emotional areas, given the fact that she dealt with the emotional areas, she was the first one to, to realize something was missing. And not being able to find it for herself, she did what she always did. She can't find something, look to the male. Now, the male of the species, whose duties were in the family unit were more hunting and gathering, really didn't understand this new concept. And it just go, kind of, huh? Shocking, I know. Now, the male gets frustrated because he's really not understanding. You keep yelling at me about something I don't understand, yeah, you're going to frustrate me. Now, the female, you know, she was getting frustrated because the male wasn't understanding what was going on and wasn't fulfilling this new need like she wants. Frustration builds, boom, battle of the sexes. Just like any conflict, the Battle of the Sexes would bring more advancements than any other conflict in recorded or pre-recorded history. Well, wow, sounds like a TV show. The Giving of Flowers. Aye, uh, he's pretty here. Chocolates. Mmm, I like this. I had a joke about seeing more of the tailpipe, but uh, yeah, yeah. The Writing of Poetry. <clears throat> Roses are red, 
violets are blue. I love you, baby, so don't make me shoot you. Now, men and women will have frustration when it comes to change. The need for it, resistance to it, it's happened. And or the um, a desire to return to a more idyllic time. Now, as I try to wrap this up, I, I'm not sure I really have one of those helpful hints except maybe to remind both men and women how far we've come. You know, we've learned psychology, we've studied relationships, we have people whose only job is to study the dynamics between men and women. And we've learned our words, our feelings, and uh, and those words that we hope will help explain those confusing feeling things. Now, are we going to have a competitive nature between men and women? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I really don't see the battle of the sexes ending anytime soon. But what I do think we can happen or what I would like to see happen, is that we, is we keep this, this competition friendly, sexually charged and friendly, and sexually charged, not frustrated and bitter. This has been Random Thoughts for me, O. Ted Bear. I just hope I helped.